Hey guys, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to do this Hayley Baldwin inspired makeup look. Um, I kind of like added my own plum lip to it, give it a bit of like an autumnal feel. If you don't know who Hayley Baldwin is, she's on Instagram, she's absolutely stunning. I've read quite a few articles about her recently and um, she's kind of just got a really lovely, natural, beautiful makeup style. From Rimmel London I'm using this really lovely highlighter in Soho Glow. And basically I'm just going to put this highlighter all over my face. It's got a slight tint to it, it's really lovely. I'm going to put it all over my eyelids too. So I really want that lovely natural glow. I'm going to use a mixture of high street products and also kind of like high end products for this look. The reason I'm putting this all over my face is because of the foundation that I'm going to be using for this look. So at the moment you're probably thinking, oh my god she looks so shiny. <laughs> I've used my L'Oreal Paris 24 hour mattifying foundation. And the reason I've used the highlighter all over my face and then put the foundation on is because this foundation is quite mattifying. But it's that lovely coverage that you can work in so you can get a really lovely natural look. But I do want a little glow to go with this look. So actually at the moment, on a daily basis, I'm mixing this foundation and the highlighter, even just a little bit. I often just mix them together if you want more of a kind of like dewy look. This look is going to be lovely for the kind of like autumn months ahead. From Clinique I'm using my number two airbrush concealer just for under my eyes. What's great about this look is that it's going to be really easy to do and it's going to be lovely for the day or the night. From Kiko I'm going to use my strobe and sculpt palette. Uh, this, yeah this is light to medium. I'm just going to use some of that highlighter and just put it just below my eyebrow. This is a really lovely cream. Got this recently actually, this Kiko one. Now you want something on your eyelids but we want it to look really natural, as if like you haven't really got much on at all. So for Max Factor, I'm going to use this really lovely Excess Shimmer Pot. And this is in 20 Copper. Dab that on with your fingers, if you like, and just really work that in. I love this. I stumbled across these pots recently. What's great about these pots, you can use them under other eyeshadows, or just on their own. From MAC, I'm just going to use my Smolder Eye Curl Pencil. I'm just going to do my upper waterline. This is all about the lashes, so I'm really going to go to town on these. And I'm using my Volume de Chanel Mascara. I'm going to do a video soon on really good high street mascaras. If anyone's seen your mother videos, you know I love good Max Fax 2000 Camry mascara. But this Chanel one's just really good when you're in a bit of a rush and I'm going to work soon, so it just takes less time to layer up those lashes with mascara. And just because my lashes are quite long, I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes, but I'm not going to go mad. So embarrassing. The other day it was like the hottest day in London. And for some reason I just thought, oh, do you know what? I'll just wear mascara today. I can't bother to put loads of eyeshadow on. And I did what I will say I never do, which is wear mascara on my lower lashes. Anyway, saw someone that I know at the train station, but don't know them that well, chatting away. Got to work and I realised that mascara was all down my cheek. <laughs> this person who I didn't know that well was like, oh, what do you do? I was like, yeah, I'm a makeup artist. He's probably looking at my face thinking, really? <laughs> Good job I'm too old to really care. If I'd have been 14, I'd be mortified. <laughs> I won't say which mascara that was, but it totally wasn't the fault of the mascara. It was my lashes and my big greasy face, that was, so it was just transferring. If I ever put mascara on my bottom lashes, I have to be really careful and I have to like lift them up or put powder underneath. But I've been like trudging to the train in like such a rush that I had a big like sweaty face. Now at the moment brows are going through a real kind of like natural stage. So Hayley Baldwin like she really just brushes up her brows, fill them in if you need to. I've only had mine tinted recently so I'm not going to do anything to them much. Just I'm just going to really brush them up. And just some body shop I'm using eyebrow gel. Just really get those eyebrows in place. If you are putting product on, just always do that first and then brush them up with your eye gel. Then with my good old Universal Chanel bronzer, I'm just going to bronze where I need to. Then I'm using some of my MAC Medium Dark Block Powder and I'm just going to powder wherever I need to just to make some areas look a bit more flat than others. So we've put on quite a bit of highlighter because you want that dewy youthful look but you don't want to look a greasy mess. From Biotown I'm going to use my gorgeous Sun Designer palette. And this is so lovely, I'm just going to take a sweep and that really give me that lovely bronzy pinky glow. Now funny enough, before I even saw this Hayley Baldwin look, I picked up from Kiko this really lovely lip liner. It's just really perfect for the autumn months. It's number four, Matita Labra. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Now Hayley Baldwin either kind of has like a bright lip with this kind of really dewy look or she might go nude. I've gone for kind of like autumnal look. So I've gone for this kind of like, it's almost like a brown burgundy lip colour. So hopefully you found that quick video quite useful. It's quite a nice autumnal look. So it's just a bit of a twist on the Hayley Baldwin look. Um, so just get that really lovely dewy skin and then add either a nude, plum or, you know, a really lovely bright lip. 
If you have enjoyed my video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. Carla Marie Makeup and I look forward to seeing you all next time.